look, it's me! Ricky's Reviews Yes! Hammer and Harry, also known as Daiku no Jensun in Japan, is an action platformer developed by IREM. Hammer and Harry started off as an arcade in 1990 in Japan. Soon after, it jumped on the Famicom in 1991 and then made its way to the NES in 1992. In case you are wondering why you don't remember this game, it's because it only came out in Europe and Japan. For some reason, it didn't make it out here to the US of A. Thanks a lot, IREM. You're beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful. All right, so let's get started. Or should I say, let's get busy. Let's get busy. The story starts off with the Rusty Nailers Construction Company pretty much demolishing Harry's house. Really, the Rusty Nailers. Wow, better get my tennis shot. So Harry sets off to take out the rusty nailers with his trusty hammer by his side. The gameplay is fairly simple. Use your hammer to hit enemies across the screen and smash up boxes, items, and pretty much anything that comes your way. You can hold down a block or press down and hit to stun your enemies around you, but there are also power-ups for your hammer. Yes, you heard me right, power-ups. Power-ups, fire-waps, fire-waps, power-ups. You can acquire these power-ups by smashing boxes and finding the items in them. The first power-up item appears to be a chili. Yep, you heard me right, a chili. Now instead of just hitting straight, your hammer spins around you, making you an untouchable weapon. Awesome. Now that power-up is nice and all, but my favorite is the giant hammer. Now to get the giant hammer, you just pick up the item that's shaped like a hammer. The giant hammer is amazing. Not only are the bosses easy to beat, but your ground attack now instantly kills everyone. Fun, 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 fun. This baby will take out walls, pretty much anything in one hit. There are also a couple items you can pick up, like a boot that makes you jump higher, a vial that replenishes your energy when you press select, or the helmet that just acts as a backup life bar. Overall, this game is pretty entertaining. There are a few downfalls to this game. For one, it's short. Six stages is not enough. You could probably blast through these stages in about an hour, maybe less. Don't get me wrong, not every stage is easy. Well, uh, yeah, maybe it is a little. But so gosh darn fun. whether it's the cheesy storyline or the random characters that pop up on the bonus stages, like the pink moles. Come on, what is this, whack-a-mole? Smash, 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 yeah, yeah. Or that awesome cover art. Wait, it's not that awesome. Wow, that's bad cover art. It's as if Sloth from the Goonies got mixed in with a double dragon character. Hey, you guys! Funny thing is, it doesn't even look like Harry. At least the Famicom one looks good. So if you like beating up on construction workers and moles, this game is for you! And I suggest you check it out, whether it be the reproduction cart or the real one. <laughs> good luck with that one. It's kind of pricey. Or you can just get it for the Famicom, if you have a Famicom. Oh, big golfs, huh? All right. Well, see you later. It's me. I know you thought that I was dead, but instead of a swap me video, you guys are stuck with me in this new Ricky's review. Hey, don't use this one. It was just for fun. <laughs>